If you're a freshwater bass fisherman, then odds are you've heard of the world-class Trophy Lake El Salto. Located in the base hills of Mexico's beautiful Sierra Madre mountain range, it's a bass fisherman's dream come true that allows you to try all kinds of new baits and lures. And that's exactly what we did. Dave Brown, senior marketing specialist for Okuma, and Todd Klein, a professional angler and part-time guide, hit me up and said we're going to Lake El Salto fishing for three days to mess around with some new fishing gear. Would you like to come and film the adventure? My answer, yes please. When do we leave? Is this a world record? If this is a world record, this is a world record. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go over. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vita in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun and Ricante is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica. Good morning, gentlemen. What's happening? I see a couple smiles. That means we're going somewhere. We're excited. And where are we going? We just got a LA exit and right down to Mazalan, going to Lake El Salto. You've been there a couple of times, right? A couple of times. It's going to be a good time. It's the first time for somebody. First time for somebody. Yeah. I've He's never been. been. I've never been. I've uh, watched videos. Friends tell, tell me about it. But um, man, I talk about being psyched. Right. Hopefully, they want to play on the top water. If not, we'll find them. Yeah. Dave, have you been down there at this time of year? I have been down this time of year. Okay. Got a good early morning and a late night top water bite. These rats and dogs. It's going to be phenomenal. We're excited. Okay. So we're going. We're going over a few different products though on this trip, right? This we is kind of. We're shooting product on we're this trip. We're going to shoot ducks, rats, bluegill. We've got the fat bites, the soft bites. We've got some worms. We've got it all. It's going to be awesome. Here all right, go. guys. Well, looking forward to it. We got three days of fishing, right? Three days of fishing. Looking forward to it. Starting tomorrow morning. Hey, kicking it with Todd Klein. Please, going fishing somewhere new. See you, amigo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here he is. All right, first leg of the tour. We're gonna go to Taco Bell. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Stoked on fishing. Stoked on fishing. Number one, number one. Ooh, I like the number one. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. It's okay? It's okay, yeah. Okay, that's it right there. Special El Salto, it's going down. Stoked on fishing. Raul, my name is Raul, driver. Okay. To here, to El Salto. All right, thank you, Raul. Vámonos. Have you heard how the fishing's been at all? Do you know? Good. Yeah. But now the guy, the Japanese today living, cash nine and eleven pounds. Oh yeah, double digits. You got good, uh, good lure and good lucky. You catch big ones. All right. Well, I'm lucky. You fisherman, very good. Are you guys fishermen? <laughs> First time. It's like the club when I was big ones. <laughs> We made it. Yes. We're thinking of you, Ryan. I know you love your s chips. Hi. What's going down right here? We got plenty of light now. Well, make sure you get that drink. I know you're dehydrated right now. I would, yeah. Okay. Um, we'll product plug. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get nasty with the sand no, if we have it's to. It's the first thing if you grab. To. Yep. Okay. But okay, that's just that's if we gotta fire BBs. But in the morning, we're gonna go to war. We got Rat Boy ready to go. I got to, uh, if I got to swim the floating, floating bluegill by him, make him think it's a tilapia down here. We'll do that. Got a little mouse. Oh. Is that mid sized rat? Is this one of the fun parts of the trip, guys? It's always fun going through gear, right? It's always fun. Getting rigged, getting ready to go, come up with a game plan and do it. Right? And having too much gear is always fun too, well, right? kind of like, you know, back in the day, remember when you were single and you were at the club, you're putting cologne on, you're like, man, is it going to work? <laughs> Are they going to come out and play tonight? That's what we're thinking tomorrow. Like, Are they going to... We'll kick my rod. <laughs> Are they going to come out and play tomorrow? We hope. Good morning. Yeah, you and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this guy was stirring around. He's as anxious as could be. Uh, Understandable, though. A little breakfast, and then we're there, right? Let's do it. Uh, a little brekkie brekkie. Coffee, coffee. Look at that fruit!
How long have you been fishing El Salto Lake for? 25 years. Woo wee! And your biggest fish is? Thirteen. Woo wee! Is that it up there? That's the third one. Oh, the third one? The third one. Yeah. How big? This how about? This is a 16 and 14 oh, and 13. What did you catch that big fish on? No, it was on a purple and white tail worm, six inches long. Like from 10 years, 15 years ago. But right now, I don't know why, but they're not biting that that much. They change. Hey, they're fish, you know? Sometimes yeah. you don't want to eat the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's Carlos, my friend. <laughs> yeah, seven minutes. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Seven minutes, just be ready. Come on. Dave, it's on. I'm excited. It's on. You're eight minutes from the water. <laughs> Todd? Hey, good morning. My name is Raul, driver number one. Oh, we know that. Salto Large. We know that. Okay, vamonos. Numero uno. Number one. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, a little fist pump. All right. Perfect. You okay? Yeah, it's good. That's perfect. Raul, the here. Hola. 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 Two guys here and one guy to, and this guy, okay? Yeah. Oh God, get it out of there, dude. Good Lord, that thing came out of nowhere. That bird just went down for Mr. Duck. That was awesome. That was your boy. Well, we just want to get a fish on the uh, board, gets, get our fingers fishy, if you will. So, uh, got a Savage Gear Armor 2 worm. I've got a, uh, a Voss weight that you actually screw in the bottom of it. It's something I learned fishing some of the Northern California lakes. Wacky rig it, and basically this thing stands up, and you just can't keep working it across the bottom. And uh, chartreuse the tail. Saw that on the, uh, some of my research online. First cast, caught one. We'll see what we can do next. So you got that weight that's screwed in on the bottom of the worm. And you have a little bit of slack in your line and you look at my rod tip, you just kind of just kind of work it. So you envision it kind of going like this along the bottom. And it's a uh, it's definitely a little bit more of an aggressive way to fish a Sanko. Sometimes Sankos can put you to sleep. But um you cover it a little bit more, huh? You cover it, you cover a lot more water and um, it works real good on spots. Spotted bass, but uh, the old largies. They enjoy it as well. Thank you. Hey, hello, buddy. All right, thanks for saying hello. Lost my worm. Hope I brought enough of those weights. Might have to get one of those Dave, you said uh, he, they'd like moving this a little quicker here. They seem to like moving a little bit quicker. A couple twitches and a pause. Okay. Get it down to the bottom. Let it wiggle its way down. Are you fishing the same thing Todd is? Uh, similar. I'm going straight wacky, no no weight on that. But the... Uh, but the armor tube worm. Armor fishing tube. the Savage Gear okay. armor tube worm. Okay. Oh, son! He grew? So that's the armor tube worm there. As you can see, there's a mesh that yeah, runs yeah, that's, right that's through the body. Fun. You hook it down through there, and you're not going to go through single fish baits. Okay, that's the kicker. You don't have to use a ring to do your wacky style rigging. It's a little stiffer than some of your baits, but you do get that little flutter as it's working its way down. Nice. 
getting bigger down the corner here. Yes, sir. Here we go. That's that tube worm, as you can see there. It's got the mesh in there. You're still not pulling all the way through. Not bad at all. Because we can come down here, you can go through a few hundred regular tube style baits, but with the, with the armor worm, you're going to get quite a few more fish per, per bait, which is yep. nice. Yeah, come on, OSS! Tuna fishing on bait cast reels. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, it's a new reel, new SS. Nice John, nice John, nice job. Oh yeah, nice job. On the new reel, cool. yes sir. Oh, SS. 450, 30 pounds of drag on that. Pretty excited about this reel. Right. It's been good so far. There's been some monster fish caught on it. Yeah, baby. Komodo, eight foot inshore bass right on the yeah. tuna. The biggest thing of this reel is all stainless steel gears. And it outputs 30 pounds of drag. There it is, deep filler. Oh, oh Andrew. Nice. Nice. Woo! Nice. Yeah. 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 Woo! Komodo, baby! Woo! Give me some of that, baby. Yeah, Komodo SS! Woo! Yes, sir! Yeah! <laughs> this is straight mono. I've got 17-pound mono on here. That's on the uh, the Saros reel. It's a 10 ball bearing reel, all graphite, nice and light. As you're twitching that thing all day, it just feels good in the hand. That's on on a Scott Martin TCS rod there. That's a seven foot heavy, nice little backbone. Might be a little much for the uh, for the wacky rigging down here, but if you want to pull these fish out quick, it's, yeah, uh, you'll it's got get a big backbone. fish. And it lost another it. weight. Oh. Did you lose a fish? Yeah, Todd. Yeah. If you have any more of these, please send them down. I need them. Oh, they're screwing. Yeah, that's the. Dave told me the weighted Senko is no good. <laughs> Get in here. Give me my worm. There it is. Look, he shook it. Darn it. Mm -hmm. Not a big one. But my point is, they like the weight today. A little more action, got to go a little quicker with it. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Can you comment, Dave? I've got three in the boat with no weight. Same. Mm -hmm. That's a good comment. <laughs> yeah, little buddy. A little chunk. Oh, he, he oh, gobbled, huh? Swallowed that, dude. I just heard the weight go bloop, everything else bloop. <laughs> what do you got to say for that, uh, sir? Uh, well, we're just getting the rest off. Fish 12 pound. <laughs> you know, you bring that Southern California technique down to Mexico. Oh, radical. And they say, uh, yeah, good going. Spectra. Hey, what was that? Still on worm one. Your original, your original. Uh, yeah, first one still. Serious. Yep, same one. I'm gonna rig up a little tungsten weight above my wacky hook, since I'm running low on those screw hooks. We'll see how we go. All right, we'll see. Dude, I saw. <laughs> it's like you. It's like you. I, I think you got bit, and you're like, did I just get bit? And then he dropped it, and then... I, I saw that. There you go, Todd. Oh, you little jumper, there we go. Oh. You, got, you can dip it, or you can use the pens, but um, the dip's just a lot cleaner way to go, you know? Which one's cleaner? This one by a long shot. Being, being a, a, being a, uh, a guide, you know... Uh, what spills in your boat and what doesn't. 
and this is just easier to travel with too. It doesn't get all over you. Still has that little bit of scent in it. So we'll find out. Oh, Magneto! Son! That's still fun to see. He's all right. Mr. Mud! That's fun. I'll take it any day. Yeah, dude, that's fun. I saw all that. I love you, Mud Nino. No, that was fish, dude. Right, right there. Oh, what? Amigo! Oh! Good oh. Lord. What do we got here? So we're throwing the Savage Gear Fat Vibe. Fat vibe. Fat vibe. Got lots of rattle to it. Look at the wide body on that guy. That's why we call it the fat vibe. And that allows it to swim down. Is and when you drop that thing in the water, it actually yeah. shimmies and swims its way down to the depths. Get ready. Right on the other side. Firing in there? No, you. Yeah. Dude, they're right up on the bank right there. Ready? Watch this. Here we go. Son. Son. Little guy. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, let's just spend a little time in this cove here throwing the oh okay. Yeah, throwing those throwing the baits we need to throw. Oh okay. son, right there, Dave. Nice. Better one. Hey! So of the like nine that we've hooked so far. We've gotten three to the boat. Dude, that was, you've had two good ones in this area. No plastic on the hooks. Yeah, that's what I just want to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> something here, gents. Is that on the soft vibe? On the no, lead. on yours. On the, uh... Hard or soft. She's working. That little guy, it's on. All right. <laughs> A lot of guys like to go with a real slow gear ratio on their deep diving crankbaits at 5.3, 5.4 four to one. Uh, these, this one here, I have an, actually an older Helios reel. This has a 6.4 to one. Our current Helios has a 7.3 to one, which is a little bit faster. You can always slow down, but when you got that constant retrieve, you want that little bit slower gear ratio for the deep diving crankbaits. And it varies from place to place, fish to fish. Definitely. If you're fishing those big, deep, deep diving crankbaits, you want that nice, slow retrieve. Get it down to the bottom, just let it pop its way around there. And right now, they're wanting you to go pretty fast or, or yeah, steady the speed? Said, the guide said speed it up. Okay. Speed it up. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. So we're going a little bit quicker. It's getting a little bit tighter shimmer on these baits. And uh, it's been working so far. Yeah, yeah. Had a little Dude, that guy's looking at something. I don't know what he's looking, but he is. See near and far, leave nothing unseen. The bang that you see here is a 20 foot bang. As you'll notice, this pylon will come to the boat and we'll never lose sight of it. This allows us to go into tight areas and get target acquisition up tight and up close. Unmatched target resolution. You're picking up a line. These are pylon that are sticking out of the water and that is over a quarter mile away from the boat right now. No radar on the market today has this capability.
son. Nice, Dave. Oh, oh hey. Nope. Um, oh, you do have the whack. Okay. Yep. Oh. All right. Chunk. It's a chunk. Fish, dude. I just saw it too. As soon as I looked over, I seen it going right. Oh! Oh, hey now. We're on. Oh, hey! I heard a little drag pull there, son. Bad idea. We should just look down at things ripping. Alright. Let's get a picture, Dave. Yeah. Okay. Chuck? Okay. Three Liking that Savage Gear trailer with the fluoro on there. Chartreuse. That little guy, yeah. Ooh, mama. Yeah. Oh, big one, dude. Big one. Is yeah, it? Yeah, 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 it is. Oh, oh dude. That was a Did big one. Oh, good. Dude, you gosh darn fish. That was a good fish. Give me that thing. Amigo, that was right on those sticks. Oh, yeah, just like your rat <laughs> fish was. Just like the rat fish. Whoa! Whoa! Those were good to fire you up, Todd. Dude, I'm surprised Dave's not still shaking. If that thing bit I my line. I think he is. <laughs> that thing bit my line. I'm a snatch. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vida in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun, and Ricante is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica.